Coach, you've talked a lot about the importance, the leadership that Eric Stevenson and Jamarius Burton have given this team, and they were really, uh, that was really on display today from those two. Yeah, those two guys were, were tremendously locked in. Obviously, uh, I thought they did a great job of, um, first of all, making shots and some difficult shots, which you have to do against uh, a team like Ole Miss, but uh, just their composure. Um, and their defense and their toughness. Probably two of the toughest guys on the floor on both teams. You know, you, you take the 10 or 12, 14, 18, 20 guys that play in the game, and I'm taking Eric and JB from a toughness standpoint. And uh, I just thought that they uh, did what they needed to do to, to make – Eric made a ton of shots. JB made his like late clock. They were all clutch, it seemed. Yeah. And the defense that they played on Henson and, um, and Tyree were, was awesome. You know, and, and we felt like you had a 15 point lead at halftime, that this is a, a dangerous Mississippi team that you, you needed to get off to a good start. You didn't score a lot right away in the half, but you kept making stops on them, never really got them going very much. Well, it didn't start well. I mean, we, we fouled them twice. They scored a bucket, and then they got the, the, um, the flagrant one on, on Eric. But, um, yeah, we, we held them to 54 points. I mean, that's a great defensive effort. I don't have a stat sheet, but um, there you go. let's see. I'll, I'll share that with me. They were, um, aver they were averaging almost 73. We out-rebound them by eight. Okay. Um, we only turned the ball over 12 times against that. That defense was is unusual. And then at the end, boy, it got really, really physical as, you know, they they – just you gotta gotta finish the game and they were a little desperate sure. so we only turn it over twelve times. And look at the points off turnovers. Twenty to one. Points off turnovers twenty to one. Well that's taking care of the basketball. That's not even no no pick sixes, that's for sure. <laughs> you had Sherfield in a lot this ball game against that pressure defense. He at least is able to penetrate some with the bounce. He's able to dribble it through. Yeah, he, you know, he's just he's a he's a consummate point guard. He's he's and and, he, and I asked him just now. I said, "Are you tired?" He goes, "Oh yeah." So it's the first time he's told me he's tired. That's good. So I, I'm wearing him down a little bit, and, and, and his minutes are to the point where he's tired, and that's a good thing. You know, we um, we needed the ball handlers in there. Jamarius goes for 36 minutes. Uh, uh, Eric for 34. Trey for 32 and, and Grant with 33. So I thought Jamie, you know, in his 26 minutes, we were try able to get the ball into him a couple times. So that was good. But man, 29 points for Eric. Um, just, yeah, he got to take care of the basketball. He had zero assists and, and uh, three turnovers. But uh, again, we only have 12 for the game, and that that one three one is unusual. It's it, it takes some preparation. Our IB uh, Isaac Brown from Mississippi, ironically, uh, was very very pleased with how the boys carried out his scouting report because uh, you know he now now he gets bragging rights back home. <laughs> and played for Kermit Davis for absolutely a year for college. a year at Texas A&M. Sure did. Now in all four losses that Mississippi has had, they have shot 40 percent from the field or less. And they shoot 50% quite frequently, but you've got to be really proud of the defensive effort. Yeah, we had a good game plan, and, and IB and I put a lot of time into it, but it was IB scout, and uh, to hold that team to 31, because uh, Brennan Brian Tyree has almost 1,600 points in his career. He is the career leader currently that's still playing in the SEC. And there's a lot of good players there. And uh, what do you have, nine tonight on two for nine shooting? So the guys did a wonderful job of, of when he used that ball screen. I mean, he was usually encountering at least one more big body. And then we were picking the guys to uh, what we call tag and help off, off of as the ball screen is occurring. And those guys weren't able, they made one jump shot all game long, and it was Cullum. And it has to be pleasing. We talked about after the ECU game, didn't play great, played well, but but not super. And against uh, a more dangerous opponent today, really came, raised the level back up and, and really responded well coming off of that game. Yeah, uh, and I told him, you know, that was a C, C minus effort. We were going to need a B, B plus effort to, to win this one. And um, we got it. We got it. We shot uh, 48%. They shoot 31 um, you know, we didn't shoot three-pointers very well, but four free throws for that matter, still 67%, but we got to the line 33 times. You know, it was a very, very physical game, and uh, we just need to – Grant's, Grant's going to make four better than four out of eight, and um, 
Mo only three of seven. But other than that, I thought, uh, you know, we just had a tremendous, tremendous team effort. It was a team effort. And, and I told him, again, I'm so excited because we've still got some good players that are not getting a great opportunity right now. Because when they do play, they, you know, they just don't have the groove. But when we get these guys going as well, I mean, it's going to be it's going to be fun. Big game coming up. <clears throat> Memphis here on Thursday. I know that uh, you haven't looked forward to it from the standpoint you've had a lot of other games to concentrate on. But this is one from before the season that loomed as a potentially really big game, and it certainly is now. Yeah, well, they lost today. I saw that game. So now we're. We're 2-1, and, and it's up to SMU and Vanderbilt, but we're 2-1 with the American uh, SEC Challenge, and um, that'll be the last game of the four games. But uh, I think um, the place will be rocking. I, I know Thursday night's going to be just one of those special nights in here, and uh, they're a tremendously talented team. They beat Ole Miss as well at home earlier in the year. I watched part of their game today as I was stressing about Ole Miss. Uh, they, they were down 21 with 10 minutes to go, and they came back and beat Penn State, a really, really good Penn State team, a Penn State team that should go to the NCAA tournament. So I knew the game wasn't over, and I kept telling the guys, the game is not over. We still have a lot of basketball to play, but you know we just did enough to keep that lead above 10 and eventually to 20. Congratulations. We'll look forward to Thursday night. Coach. Thanks, well guys. Yeah, I appreciate right. it.